All right, guys, let's talk about FET or Fetch AI here. Uh, I want to show you how long this trend line has basically held us down. Now, if you see the 28th of March is basically the peak that we had with Fetch AI, and we did, did get a rejection here in May, and we tried to break out in August. Now, let me zoom in here so you can get a little bit, you know, better uh, view here. You can see there was multiple hits. We only closed maybe one, two, three, three candles basically here. You know, three or four candles we closed outside the trend line in late August. Now, since then, we have only gotten rejections. And here's another rejection. And if you zoom in, you can see that basically in the last candle, uh, which just closed about three minutes ago, uh, we got a surge out of this trend line. You know, you can see we were just under this trend line. Like, really, let me zoom in here, guys, so you can get a really nice view. So we were under this trend line, and we surged, and we even broke the Fibonacci here. Now, we are retesting this Fibonacci at the moment. Uh, keep in mind, this is the four-hour candle. And uh, let's see if we can hold this. This will be a nice candle to have. I mean, this was a giant surge. Um, you know, so, yeah. I mean, fetch, you know, or FET, or whatever we call it now, is actually looking pretty good, guys. So let's see if we can just hold this Fibonacci. And uh, I would be happy with that. Now, I haven't marked off any other resistances here, so I don't want to talk too much about Fetch AI here. Uh, but yeah, it is important to note we have broken out of the trend line and broken into a new Fibonacci and that we're retesting it at the moment. So let's see if this continues, guys. So yeah, let's take a quick look here at Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin... Uh, it did hit 57,000, and uh, it has gone as high as 57, almost 200. Um, it is coming up to a point where we have to meet the top of this Fibonacci and this trend line. Now, we do need to get to about 57,600 to break back into this trend line. Um, if you guys remember, we have only spent really a few days outside this trend line in, in August, early August. And this is kind of the longest that we've spent out of it so far. But let's see if we can break back into this tonight. Uh, if not, I hope at the latest tomorrow. But we do have, you know, some economic numbers coming on Wednesday. So I believe if these numbers are good, uh, we will break back into uh, that trend line. Now, we on Wednesday, we're getting CPI. And uh, there's four numbers here from CPI that we, we need to get uh, on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we have jobless claims and we have PPI. So these four numbers here are very important. Friday, we do have Michigan numbers, uh, but that's not too, too, too important. It's probably the third most important day from the next four remaining. But really, really important Thursday, PPI jobless claims, Wednesday, CPI. All of this, you know, will play a part in, you know, the interest rate cuts. So, you know, let's take a quick look here, guys. Let me refresh this because it likes to um, show me a, a, you know, show me nothing really. Um, so at the moment, guys, 71% believe that there's going to be a, a quarter point cut here. Now, 29% believe that there's going to be a half point cut still. So, yeah, we'll see, guys. Um, I've, I've always been in the camp that we're going to get a 25 basis point cut. And I do think November and December we're going to see the same. And uh, January is just really speculate, guys. But you can see that they do expect further cuts. So we're going to have to have some half point cuts, you know, whether it's September, November, December, or even January, or if we have two half-point cuts, who knows, guys? I think it's too far to, to really speculate, but if I am going to speculate, I'm going to say we're going to be here, or we're going to skip it and come back in March after we have reevaluated everything. Now, people still expect further cuts in March, 
So yeah, don't take my word for it. Um, but anyways, guys, September, it's almost sure that it's going to be a quarter point cut. But like I said, we have to, you know, see these numbers Wednesday and Thursday. Very important. Now, if we look at the fear and greed, uh, basically, you know, we're at 29 yesterday at 23. Of course, we surged up yesterday a little bit. So, of course, this is going to raise. Uh, but, guys, I don't think there's really anything to fear. Uh, I still think we're in this bull run. And, um, yeah, it's just, you know, we're in a huge consolidation. It's been for six months. It's been boring, I know. So if we take a look at crypto bubbles here, uh, this is the top 100 uh, charts here, or, or, or not charts, but the uh, coins. And um, so you can see that there's very little here in the red. Um, I mean, there's only, what, two or three four projects here that are in the red in the top 100 guys. So you can look, you know, for yourself, you can go to the, you know, 100 to 200, you know, coins, almost everything again, guys, in green. If you go to 200 to 300, again, almost everything in green, guys. Actually, yeah, only, yeah, a couple projects here, red, but yeah, I'm gonna say probably 95 to 97% of the projects today are green, so, we're seeing nice surges across the board, uh, but this is due to Bitcoin, you know, surging up. And uh, yeah, guys, let's see if we can clear this Fibonacci and this trend line. This is the most important thing that we really need to clear. And uh, if we are to deal with the upper trend line, uh, now remember, we do have to break this. Um, it's held us down for six months. So this sits about 66.5. If we were going to break this trend line today, which is not going to happen, uh, then we would have to surge to 66.5. Now, that can come uh, Wednesday and Thursday. You know, we can, we can surge if we get really good numbers, you know, economically, you know, in our favor, let's say. So it's not impossible for Bitcoin. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you with Bitcoin at the moment. It is, you know, pulling back just slightly right now and with the uh, FET. So, yeah, guys, I mean, if you like this video, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.